What up, y'all? And welcome to another episode of the Pastry Bear Cooking Show. And today, we're making something for the people with the sweet tooth. We're making a pistachio and sorrel pefito roll. So let's get into it. So the first thing we're gonna make is our shoe pastry. Now this nice. recipe only costs a few ingredients. We have water, butter, salt, sugar, and you could put some milk in if you want. You could do half milk and half water, or you could just do straight water. It's up to you. Now we're gonna let all these ingredients come to a boil, and then we're gonna add our flour. We're gonna let the flour cook for about two minutes until it pulls away from the side and it starts to form a dough. We're gonna remove it from the stove and we're gonna place it straight to our KitchenAid mixer. We're gonna allow our mixer to cool down and then we're gonna slowly add our eggs. After we add all the eggs, the batter should look like this. Then we're going to remove it and put it in a piping bag and get ready to pipe it. Now I figured out one of the best and the easiest way, way to, to get, get consistency when we're making profiteroles, rolls. And by using a mold, this helps you to make sure each one has the same amount. We're gonna freeze the mold until the mixture is solid, rock solid, because it's easier to pop them out after. So now let's move on to the topping for the profito roll. So we're gonna cream butter, brown sugar, and flour. This, so we're gonna mix this until it forms a dough. After the dough is formed, we're going to allow it to relax for a couple of minutes. Then we're going to roll it out as thin as possible. We're going to freeze it and then we're going to remove it from the freezer and cut them in shapes just to fit on top of the profita roll. Now this is what's going to give the profita roll a nice, crunchy, beautiful texture. We place it on top of the profita roll and we bake it. So the next step we're gonna move on to is our sorrel. Now I'm using dehydrated sorrel for this dish. So all I do is I get some water, some ginger and sugar and I'm gonna add my sorrel to it. Now I'm just rehydrating the dehydrated sorrel. We're gonna let it cook for about 10 minutes. We're gonna remove it from the heat and we're gonna puree it.
after we blend our sorrel, we're gonna add it back to the pot and then we're gonna thicken it. Now my thickening agent I'm using today is cornstarch. So we're just gonna add about a tablespoon of cornstarch with about two tablespoons of water. We're gonna thicken it and put it down to cool. So the next step we're gonna move on to is making our cream that goes inside of the profiterole. roll. So the first step we're gonna do is, I have a sheet of gelatin leaf. So you have to soak it in cold water to get it soft. So while that's soaking, I put every cream, trimaline, and glucose syrup on the stove. And now I'm putting my pistachio paste. Now I'm using two different types of pistachio paste in this recipe. And this is what gives it the color and flavor. Now I'm gonna pour my hot liquid onto my pistachio paste and I'm gonna add my gelatin sheet. The gelatin sheet will melt because the heat from the heavy cream is hot, so it's gonna melt it down. We're gonna mix it, we're gonna transfer it to a quart container and we're gonna puree it. Now the reason I'm doing this is to make sure it's smooth and there's no lumps. We're gonna let now we're gonna put this in the fridge and let it sit overnight. So after it's set, then we're gonna whip it up. Now you just whip it until it becomes firm. So let's move on to the final step. We're gonna put our dessert together. So we're gonna get our pre-baked fafita rolls. We're gonna cut the tops. Now you can tell that these fafita rolls were done properly because you can tell there's a deep pocket inside of it and that's what you're looking for. So we put the sorrel jelly inside and the next thing we're gonna do is pipe our pistachio cream. We put a little bit more soil on top and then we cover it. Now I'm gonna just finish my decoration with edible flowers and some butterfly garnish. Thank you for watching the Pastry Bear Cooking Show. And please like, subscribe, and share. And follow me on Instagram at Chef W Murdoch or at Pastry Bear TV. Pastry Bear TV. Big up.